Are you ready to be a part of history? Behind me is a picture of Tom Fabry climbing Mount McKinley. Besides me, though, is Tom. And Tom, you're on this quest to be complete the Adventure Grand Slam. Can you explain what that exactly is? Absolutely. The Adventure Grand Slam is climbing the highest peak on each of the seven continents, plus skiing to the North Pole and then skiing to the physical South Pole. Right. Now, the climb that's coming up is down to Vincent Massive, which is the climbing the highest peak on the South Pole. You just completed Mount McKinley. Can you explain the difference between the McKinley climb and what you expect to experience coming down to Vincent Massive? Sure. Uh, the McKinley climb, that was about three weeks. Um, we had some bad weather. Cold temperatures, minus 40 degrees. As you know, we were blogging, social media, while we were on that adventure. Uh, my satellite phone froze up the first week there. So this year, going to Antarctica, Mount, Mount Vincent Massive, we'll have a brand new satellite phone. We're still going to be doing Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, the whole social media. And hopefully, if things work out, uh, we'll be making phone calls from the summit of Mount Vincent Massive. So we're really looking to take everybody along for the, well, we're going to say for the ride, but for the walk, for the hike <laughs> on this one. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, the reason why, obviously, I want to become the 11th American to achieve the Adventure Grand Slam, uh, but this adventure has become bigger and more than I could ever imagine. So what I found was as I do these adventures, people want to live vicariously through me. But for me, it's twofold, okay? One, it's self-serving, okay, to push myself, learning, growing all the time. But also the second thing is uh, I use the metaphor, we all have mountains to climb. And so I'm just showing people that if I can do this, you can do anything. Yeah, it's just it's difficult though for some people to to understand the extent of how much you're pushing yourself beyond you, beyond what you thought maybe you were capable at one point in time to go and accomplish this so to bring everybody along for this for this hike to show them that anything is possible has to be rewarding in and of itself besides your own accomplishment what you're able to show other people too oh absolutely i want to be able to show people on this climb uh, the struggles, everything that I'm going through, okay? Even when I get to the summit, typically when I get to the summit of, you know, these peaks, I break down and cry. So why not show them that? It's yeah. real. It's real life. It's real life. Now, there's also a charity that you decided to involve yourself with on this particular climb. Friends of Karen. And they are? And you can go to their website, friendsofkaren.org, and it's a charity for children and families hit by cancer and that is near and dear to my heart and we've decided to give a portion of the proceeds that are going towards this climb to Friends of Karen. So we found a charity that is near to us and dear to us and we want to support them. This whole thing has become bigger than just climbing mountains. Right. It, that metaphor is there and the reality is... Absolutely. Yeah. And the reality is there's so much of a takeaway on this thing from an inspiration to see Tom go through this for your side of it also. You have an opportunity to really be a part of history by helping to support the money that is going to be needed to do this climb, but also some of that money is going to go back to Friends of Karen. Going back to people that really can use the funds and they're going through their own challenges in life. And Tom, I want to thank you so much for joining us today, but also for sharing the story and for allowing us to come along with you. Thanks, Brian. It's a pleasure. Thank you.